enhanced efficiency and improved infrastructure at the border crossings will help in reducing the time taken to clear goods and handle transport cargo, hence reducing the associated costs. The construction of the one-stop border post at Bunagana in Kisoro district is of great importance to regional trade, argues Amelia Chambade, the Minister of Trade, Industry and Cooperatives. That facilitating trade is a key mechanism for reducing poverty, for employment, for enhancing output of the farmers, but price and price control, but also consolidating regional integration. It comes at a time when Uganda's plans to tarmac roads in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo is at advanced stages. Because of the of the roads, we have we had always been using Chanika border to cross to go to Goma. And in fact, even the buses, they would come from Kampala, pass through, uh, through Chanika, go to, to DRC. I believe that if, uh, if this project starts and our project of the roads, I think it is going to intensify, intensify the what? The trade and our relations with the DRC. No, you know, the Rwanda border was closed and we don't know where it will open. So we are going to push all our energies to this side. Where and actually they have capacity. DRC has capacity to do business because they have a lot of raw materials and they, they have a lot of liquid cash. The 5 billion shillings state-of-the-art border facility will improve efficiency in customs administration through adoption of electronic services. In the recent years, Uganda and the Democratic Republic of Congo have significantly increased their inter-regional trade. The commodities that you normally take are beans, maize, millet, sugar, fish and sorghum. These products are exported in their raw form. So we want to start looking at value addition. One of the key ways in achieving higher economic growth and regional integration is through inter-regional trade. Denis Igoa, for UBC News, at Bunagana.